I thought we got off to a, a great start. We really shared the ball, shot the ball well, uh, got a double-digit lead early in the game. and uh, But then we, we got in some foul trouble. Uh, I think Lehigh is a, a very good team at driving and kicking and shooting threes. Uh, and they shot 42% from three in the first half, so we were concerned about our guys being in foul trouble. Uh, Dan Gak, who I thought was terrific, uh, blocked a number of shots, got a number of rebounds, and he had three fouls already in the first half. Buka Zundu had two, DJ Vasilovic had two, and then very early in the second half, uh, Chris Lakes ended up with some foul problems. Uh, and I thought Lehigh did a great job of uh, putting pressure on us. They cut the lead to six, we took a timeout, and then I thought our defense picked up, our offense picked up, Anthony Lawrence and Chris Lakes uh, scored the ball really well. DJ st t hit some shots, and then uh, we were able to push it back up into double digits and evac eventually 20. Questions? Jim, 32, I guess, of your, of your 61 shots were threes. I mean, you talk about, I, I know you guys want to shoot more from long range. You're, you're good at it, but is that sort of what you're looking for? You yeah, know? Golden State Warriors, Houston Rockets, Boston Celtics. It's a trend. It's, 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 it's the way the game is being played. Uh, I told the team afterwards, it's normally I would say that that's way too many, but you know, the way we're playing right now, uh, and even in practice, we're, we're shooting a lot of threes. Is 32 too many? I don't know. There was a lot of possessions in the game. A low possessions game uh, where it's like a half court grind it out, then you, you don't really want to be launching too many threes. Uh, but in an up-and-down game, the way Lehigh plays, Lehigh averages like 77 points a game. So we knew it would be a lot of possessions, and both teams would launch the three. How many threes did they shoot? 21. 21? No, they took 21 in the first half. No, we took 21 in the first half. Yeah. This is uh. the box. So we must have defended the three, 12 for 21. It doesn't sound very good, but that's a whole lot better than like 18 for 24. Of course, the decision not to, not to play Zuan, how much did that change in the preparation? Well, it, it changes the preparation because, like Dan Gak, uh, we have, we've made decisions kind of uh, interesting. Um, we were, were planning to start Dewan and bring Buka in to, to back him up. We decided to redshirt Rodney Miller because he's playing so well. We didn't want him to be like the third string center and, and only play six or eight minutes a game. So we were sitting him out knowing that Buka and, and Dewan would play that, and then we'd give Dan Gak the uh, Rodney's minutes. But without Dewan tonight, Buka moved into the starting lineup, and Dang became the sub not only at the five, but at the four. He subbed for Sam Wardenberg and for Dan Gak. I mean, and for Buka Zundu. So Dang was, well, how many rebounds and blocks did he have? He was a minus 12? Three rebounds and three blocks. Three rebounds and three blocks? Six rebounds, three blocks. Oh, six rebounds and three blocks. So, well, I, I thought he did a great job. Any estimation as to how long this will take? Result? No, I, you know, I, I don't have any idea. I mean, could Rodney then play this year if this is a elongated thing? Is that what you're sort of saying when you mentioned his name before? Or he's going to register no matter what? Rodney Miller. Well, we made the decision based on what we felt was best for Rodney and the team, right, and the program. If you, you, you don't look at it just one game or a series of games. You, you, you look at the whole picture, and the whole picture was not what the whole picture is today. But we won't know until that decision is made uh, as to, you know, what the next step is for us. Is it more precautionary on your end not to play him at this point? Well, or is there concern? What, what was the statement that, that Blake made? We're just waiting for uh, his eligibility to be uh, reviewed, so. On, on Lehigh, if Andre had 31 points, he had him out, he only gets 10 shots. Tonight, one particular defender responsible for that? Or? Well, first of all, I thought Sam Wardenberg did an absolutely great job on him in the first half, and then Sam cramped. Uh, I, I don't know what the story is with these cramps. 
But uh, Anthony Lawrence, Sam Wardenberg, we've had a number of guys have cramps throughout. I think some of it is they're playing really, really hard, and maybe your muscles are tightening up, and you know, you're, you're, uh, I, they're in great shape. So I, I would just say, you know, we, we maybe just need to get in game shape. How important is it for Chris to take more of an offensive role? How did Chris play? Five for 17. Uh, 22 points. 8 for 11. He had 22. 1, 2, 3, 4. We had five guys in double figures, and Anthony Lawrence had a double double. So, you know, all our starters scored in double figures. And 15 assists. I would have liked a few more, but, you know, I think Chris is going to be a high octane scorer. He's, he's got to score for us. He was getting more out of you. Have more bench scoring well, you know, uh, uh, one of the things is uh, Anthony Max has been practicing really well. We moved him over to the white team just yesterday, uh, and I expected to play him more, uh, but um, I think that'll come. Thank you.